So someone recently pointed out to me that they had to replace their iPad because they actually broke the screen. And when they got it back, none of their apps or any of their content, such as music, films or TV shows, were there. And they wanted to get them back easily. And you can do this on the iPod Touch, iPhone and iPad. iPad works slightly differently when you go into the App Store. But basically, you can just go into the iTunes app or the App Store. If you've backed it up, then if you re store everything then it should all come back but what you can do is just go into iTunes and if you come into here down the bottom you've got this purchased option down here and if you tap on that you'll see you've got the option up at the top here of music films and tv series right up there and you can just tap on those to get into them I'm in the music at the moment so it's showing me all of them or you can see what's not on this iPad and you can simply just scroll down here and actually tap on something and you see how it's got that little cloud there? You can just tap on that and it will bring it back. So if I was to tap on that, it might tell me I've already got it on something else. Then I might not want to do that right now, but there could also be something here such as the Beatles. I've got a few here and you can see it's got those clouds. If I want to get all of them, it's that one in that top corner. We'll download them all. So what about your apps, which is something she was more concerned about. So if I go into the App Store, if I've tapped on Purchased, you can see all of my apps here. If I want to get any of them back, the ones that aren't on here are the ones that show the little cloud with the arrow. So if I want to put Temple Run, just tap on it and it installs it. Now it may ask you for your password. On this occasion, I've put my password in recently. So it's remembered that and it's now installing it and it will come back. Not necessarily in the same place, but it will be on your screen somewhere. So a little bit different on the iPhone, and that would be exactly the same on the iPod Touch. So let me just show that now. So I'm here on the iPhone now, and again, I've got my iTunes app, and I've also got my App Store. If I go into my iTunes, this one works quite similarly, but what you've got to do is tap on More. When you tap on More, you can then tap on Purchase, and you've got Music Films TV Series. And you can simply tap on that. And then same again, you've got all of them. Those that aren't on your iPhone or on this iPhone. And you could say, choose that. This one's already on here, but oh, actually, no, it's not. So I can just tap on that arrow and it will start downloading it. But the App Store is a little bit different in that if I go in here, you've got to go into the App Store. And where you find the purchased items is actually in updates so I've tapped on that up at the top it says purchased and again now all the apps will come up here any moment depending on the speed of your connection how many apps you've got it can take a while for everything to appear and there you go I've got some a lot of them are already installed but once again if there was one here that I didn't it would have that little cloud with the arrow on it let's see if we can find one too many apps I would say, let's see if that's going to pop up here. It probably should do it for this one. It's probably just taking a bit of time to load up. But when it does, you'll get that little arrow with the inside the cloud. So let's see if I've got any here. Nothing looks like it's... Ah, there we go. There's one, Carbs and Cows. I'll just have to tap on that little cloud with the arrow. And that would install that. As I said, again, not necessarily on the screen where you had it before, but it will be on your phone. Thanks for watching.